What is going on guys? Shummel Gaming here with another Dragon's Dogma 2 video. This will be for how to get the petrified Medusa head and all the achievements or trophies associated with it. In order to get this, I highly recommend switching to the Thief class at any vocational guild. I tried doing this with a couple other classes and could not get it to work. The Thief class does slash damage, which is I believe what we really need to do to the boss here. Let's talk about weapon. When you switch to the Thief vocation, you will get the criteria, which is the most basic weapon. This is definitely the weapon you're going to want to use. Don't use a better one because we want to do as little damage to the boss as possible i'll explain more why later you want to have a port crystal in bak batal you will definitely need one because as soon as we get the medusa head we need to fast travel back there before we head out to Medusa, let's visit a vendor. You can go to have any vendor you want. You're going to want to at least have one fairy stone and you're going to want to have some health potions and stamina potions as well, just in case uh, it, you know things get into trouble during the fight. Medusa is at the Nera Batal Windrift. This is southwest of Bak Batal. Not far, uh, probably a two to three minute run unless you're stopping to fight everything. It is a hard uh, path. There are a lot of monsters, so definitely come prepared. You should be a higher level to do this, but actually if you're too high of a level, it actually will make the achievement kind of hard. Uh, I'm a very high level, I'm 59, and it made the achievement very hard because I did a lot of damage to the boss. Again, I'll explain why we're not gonna do damage to the boss here in just a second. Once you get to the path, you're going to go under the trees and we will start to fight Medusa. In order to do this, we need to grab onto her and we need to climb to the top and we need to just attack her over and over again. We're going to need to attack her at least probably 100 plus times in order to get her head to pop off. You'll know you're hitting her head when you'll see purple blood spewing out and you'll see the snakes kind of flying off the top of the head. That's how you know you're hitting the right spot. Now, as you can see, I'm doing a little bit of damage here. It's actually not a good thing because we need to hit her so many times before she loses a certain amount of health or else you won't get the petrified Medusa head. And really what I mean is if the health bar depletes two times, instead of getting a petrified Medusa head, you will get the withered Medusa head. So that health bar there at the top. Again, if you see it deplete two times, you might just want to hard close your game um, because you will get a withered Medusa head instead. So if it depletes once and then it depletes twice, you will not get the petrified Medusa head. That's why we don't want to do damage to the boss. We don't want our pawns to do damage to the boss. We just want to attack her in the head with the most basic weapon we have. And once you do that, probably a hundred-ish times, maybe even more, her head will pop off. And as long as you didn't damage the boss through the health bar two times, you will get the preserved Medusa head, or I've been calling it the petrified Medusa head the entire time here, but the preser preserved Medusa head. Now, this is when the kind of clock starts to tick. What we need to do is immediately run out and use that fairy stone to fast travel to Bak Batal. You can't use the fairy stone in the cave, so just run outside really quick and then use the fairy stone to go to Bak Batal. Once we are here, immediately find the inn, or if you own the house here, you can deposit in the house, but put the Medusa head into storage. It will not decay while it's in storage. The Medusa head is just like meat in that it will decay. We need it to stay preserved. Once it's in storage, we will kind of leave the inn here, and you can. we need to at least progress time seven days or one week. I'm gonna do this on a bench, so if I doze off 28 times, that will be about a week in the game. I did a couple extra just to be safe. After that, I'm also gonna rest until the morning. This will give us a hard save in case something happens while we are running the preserved Medusa head back to Medusa. Anyways, once you have run that Medusa head all the way back, I ran all the way back and didn't attack anything. It actually might be a bad idea because as you'll see here in a second, there's literally like a hundred enemies chasing me and this was actually a little bit harder than it needed to be, but you're going to equip the Medusa head and then you're, you're going to go back into your inventory immediately and you're going to use the brandish option and you're going to aim that Medusa head right at Medusa and just keep holding it to her until she turns to stone and that will unlock the achievement. You should have three achievements in, uh, associated with Medusa, one for getting her head, one for getting her preserved head, and one for patching prying Medusa with her own head. Hope this video did prove helpful. I would appreciate a like, maybe even a subscribe if it did, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks.